In this video, I'm going to show you how to write the equation of a circle centered at the origin. So suppose we have a circle here with radius r centered at the origin. How do we write the equation of the circle? Well, to write an equation for a curve, we need to consider a point x, y, and then write an equation so that all the pairs x, y which satisfy that equation are on the curve. So basically, we have to write an equation that tells us something true about every point of the form x, y on the circle. And one thing to notice about any point x, y on a circle is that it creates a right triangle whose hypotenuse is the radius. So the x coordinate here, the length in the x direction forms one of the sides, and then the length in the y direction forms the other side, and then the radius is the hypotenuse, the largest side. So horizontal side, x, vertical side, y, hypotenuse, r, and this is a right triangle. And since it's a right triangle, the Pythagorean theorem applies, and that gives us an equation which relates the point x, y to the radius r. Writing down the Pythagorean theorem for this triangle, we have that side squared, so x squared, plus other side squared, so plus y squared, is equal to hypotenuse squared, so equals r squared. All right, so now that we know the equation of a circle centered at the origin, let's go ahead and do some exercises. Write the equation of each circle below. First of all, we've got a circle with a point 3, 0 labeled. And from that information, it becomes very clear that the radius of the circle is just 3. And that's all we need to know to write our equation. Remember, our final equation should have x and y as variables, but r is a constant, so we need to substitute in for that. And here we know that r equals 3. So let's go ahead and sub that in. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and r is 3. So 3 squared, which means that x squared plus y squared equals 9. And there we go. That is the equation of our circle. On to the next problem. Now we've got another circle, which looks a bit similar in size, but the radius extends a little bit beyond 3 units. So the radius is not just 3. Um, it's actually pretty difficult to tell what the radius is just by looking at it. It looks like just a smidget over 3, but, but not 3 exactly. Um, but we do have a point on the circle, 1, 3, and we know that the radius is the distance from the center to that point on the circle. So we can label that distance with r, the radius. So r, the radius, is equal to the distance from 0, 0 to 1, 3. And we can compute that using the distance formula, just r equals square root of 1 minus 0 squared plus 3 minus 0 squared, which becomes r equals 1 minus 0 is just 1, then square that you get 1, and then plus 3 minus 0 is 3, square that you get 9. So r equals square root of 1 plus 9, which is equal to the square root of 10. And now that we know the radius, we can just go ahead and substitute that into our formula. x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So equals square root of 10 squared. And simplifying, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 10. So there we go. There is our equation of the circle. All right, next problem. Given that the segment between 2, 3 and negative 2, negative 3 forms the diameter of a circle, what is the equation of the circle? Why don't we start by finding the center of the circle? And the center of the circle is equal to the midpoint of the diameter. So we can compute that with the given information about 2, 3 and negative 2, negative 3. So the midpoint between 2, 3 and negative 2, negative 3, we compute by taking the average of the x-coordinates, so 2 and then minus 2 over 2, and then 3 minus 3 over 2 would be the average of the y-coordinates. And then this simplifies. 2 minus 2 is 0, 0 divided by 2 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, and 0 divided by 2 is again 0. So center is at 0, 0. That's good, because that means we can write the formula as just x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So the big problem is now just to find the radius. 
And we know the center of the circle is at zero, zero. And we know two other points on the circle. So why don't we compute the radius by just finding the distance from the center, which is zero, zero, to a point on the circle. How about let's choose two, three. Plug that into the distance formula. You get r equals the square root of two minus zero, the quantity squared, then plus three minus zero, the quantity squared. So r equals, let's compute. Two minus zero is two, square that, you get four. And then three minus zero is three, square that, you get nine. So four plus nine, so r equals square root of 13. Now we can substitute that into our formula. So x squared plus y squared is equal to square root of 13 squared. And then we simplify that to get x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. So there we go. There is our equation of the circle. x squared plus y squared equals 13. So now we know how to find the equation of a circle centered at the origin, and in the future we'll also learn how to find the equation of circles centered at any general point.